Stefka, jam play at the side of the net. Melberg trying to stuff it in. The rebound still loose. Stefka turns, fires, scores! What a start. That's what the Yellow Jackets needed. You ain't kidding, Anthony. What a start. Just a battle at the front of the net, and the Yellow Jackets continue to win the puck, and they win. This is a sort of, you talked about redemption before the match, Anthony, and I think this power play unit looking for some redemption. Oh, yeah, no Controlling doubt. the puck well. It's Yaks. He'll let a long shot go and score. Was it tipped in front by Luka Mavra? I'm not sure, but it's 2-0 either way. And the Yellow Jackets are on fire. Well, we got off to a good start. Um, big emphasis of ours was making sure we had good second and third effort, and um, I thought we, we appropriately checked that box. You know, it's a little tough to get out to a 2-0 lead, and, um, you know, they're a top-10 team in the in the country for a reason, and, and you know, we knew they'd have a, a, a good push back, but, um, you know, like this in the first, I thought we did a little puck watching in the second. I thought that they did a good job of getting pucks in behind our defensemen, and I thought we got away from that. I thought we, uh, I thought our second period was a lot of independent play, a lot of one-on-one -on -one play, and, you know, I guess it's my job as a coach to, Make sure our group understands not, all, not always what's best for them is best for our for our group. And um, I thought we turned some pucks over. And they're a type of team. If you turn pucks over and you give them short ice to deal with, they've got some guys with elite st stick skills. And you know they don't need three, four wax at it to score. They can beat you on some first shots. And, and that's what happened. They kind of flipped the game on us. And, uh, I thought we had a great third period, a, a really good push on our group. And um, you know we we had a. a Puck up over our stick that I thought was going to be a tie game, and you know the 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 such a fine line between winning and losing, and you know we lose two, three, two games to a, a top ten team in the country that that is so well coached, and they've been a great program for the last decade or so, and you know last year maybe we don't go into this weekend with expectation, but this year it's different. We have expectation that we're gonna that we're gonna get points, and we're. We're gonna get something out of the weekend, so you know, certainly disappointed um, from that standpoint. But lots of positives. Like uh, we lose two, three, two games, and we were good enough to win both games. So uh, we'll, we'll bank the positives, and, and um, that's the way we always do things here, and, and we'll move forward. Uh, it's uh, I think it's a little bit of game management. You know what? Um, I I would tell our guys like. You know, it's a 2-2 game, and, and if we've got opportunity to go, I don't care if there's 10 seconds, 10 minutes, or 20 minutes left in the game. Like, we're going to go and try and make plays, and that's what we do. And, um, you know, two nights in a row, it kind of cost us. Last night was a little bit of a fluky play. Um, we look like we're going out on a four-on-two, and they turn around and, and uh, make a good play and come at us three-on-one. Uh, similar again tonight, like, we're, we're a transition-based team. we got to get up and go. Um, you know, I wish... Uh, I guess there is a little game management, something that we'll have to look at. We moved pucks quicker. We passed on forehands. We were in an attack mentality, and, and just like any power play, if, if you just pass it around the perimeter and you're not initiating and, and dictating, um, you'll struggle. And I thought we did a good job of, of initiating and, and getting them on their heels a little bit. We opened up some good looks. Their guy made some good saves. Um, you know, the good news is, is the power play looked great. The bad news is, is we only have two of them. It's a, uh, again, it comes back to, you know, we're, we're, we think we're a pretty good five on five team. That's one of the special, best special teams in the country. Uh, top five power play last year in the country, top five penalty kill. When you combine the two, they're as good a special teams team there is in the country. So we, we need to play those guys five on five. And, and it's two nights in a row we give those guys uh, more power plays uh, you know, than, 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 than we're getting. And that's not going to set us up for success. Yeah, we, we've got we've to take care of pucks against those guys. I think they have the best forwards in our league. Uh, they can score one through 12. Um, they've got, you know, two really dangerous lines and, and high-octane lines. And, um, you know, if, we're, if, if we don't take care of the puck, if we're not uh, patient at times against them, um, you know, I think they're as good as any team in our league. And, and quite honestly, wouldn't be surprised if, if that's a team, you know, right down to the wire. And I know we're early in league play, but, but you know, I have high regards for, for CJ and, and that program. And um, they, they're darn good. I watched them versus Penn State today. They are, they are high end, high octane, and uh, we'll have to be really glued to uh, our details. That's a good question. It's, um, you know, for us, for, for this weekend, it's not something that we talked about because it, it wasn't going to be in play for us. Um, 
against an ECAC school, but it's something that we'll have to regain our focus. And you know, for us, it's a little bit of doing our homework, and, and we've got some calls into some NHL guys just in terms of you know they, they get into 15 or 23 on three situations in a season, and 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 seeing how they play it, and then you know coming up with a game plan that's best for AIC hockey, but. There's, there's lots of different ways you can be a counterattack team, sit back and, and work in transition, or you can try and get it and, and end it early. And um, So we've we got to find our way here with the three-on-three, three and uh, it should be exciting. And you know, if, if I have it my way, we're, we're, we just we play five-on-five five and um, we don't get to that three-on-three.